This is the anions test for the nitrate ion. In this test, you want to add a small scoop of the um, substance to be tested, which is our nitrate ion. And this time, we want to try to make a saturated solution. So we are going to add in a little bit less water than we normally would. Add in and we want to stir to dissolve. I want a saturated solution. I'm not going to add any more distilled water to clear up this cloudiness. Plus, this test uh, does not involve formation of a white precipitate, so this cloudiness is not going to affect our results. After we get that dissolved, we want to add in our iron sulfate. We want to add in 10 to 15 drops. And then we're going to stir to mix this. This next part, we need to tilt the test tube on its side. And when you are doing these anions tests, you want to be sure that you're using your test tube tongs to hold these test tubes. You should not be holding any of these test tubes with your bare hands. In this next step, we're going to be adding 18 molar sulfuric acid located in these um, dropper bottle pipettes. This is a very strong concentration of this acid, so you want to be extra, extra cautious when you are using this uh, dropper. Um, if you happen to get this on yourself, you need to immediately stop what you're doing and wash your hands. This will severely irritate your skin. We're adding in 20 drops of this. and we're letting that drip down the side of the test tube. We are not going to mix this step because what we're looking to form is at the boundary where these two solutions have come in contact, they've created a layer. And we're looking to observe a dark brown ring form between the two barriers. If I put up my white here you can see that brown ring that is forming where those two solutions are meeting. And that is the sign of a positive test result for the nitrate ion. If you do not form this, this boundary, this black ring, then of course that means you do not have nitrate in your sample. The key to this is just being very steady and allowing that acid to trickle down the side to make sure that you don't disturb that boundary so that black ring has a chance to form.